I moved to Austin in 1976 to go to the University of Texas, but I mostly moved here because of the music scene. I could come here and I could study the way songs were written and the way audiences reacted to them. It, it was just a, a Cavendish laboratory for anybody that anyone that was really interested in music. My name is Ruth Ellsworth Carter, and I'm a songwriter in Austin, Texas. Musicians in general are not the healthiest group of people. They tend to be willfully ignorant about their uh, health to a certain extent. Austin has opened the eyes, and Ham in particular has opened the eyes of a lot of musicians, that it's an important thing to do to take care of your health. When Ham was created, I knew that it was, uh, uh, it was going to be a labor of love for the Austin community, so that many, many years ago was my first experience with Ham, but my first experience personally was uh, I had thought I was going in for routine gallbladder surgery and when I came out of the surgery they told me that wasn't what it was and that I had ovarian cancer. When you get a diagnosis like cancer your mind is thrown into a different space than you had ever been before and you don't absorb details of things. You're, uh, they call it brain fog and, and they call it that for a reason. The first day that I came to, to Ham, I didn't know who was going to be here. I came, just came to an office of a building uh, with people in it that I knew cared about the Austin music community. And with shaky legs, I walked up those stairs. From the minute I got to the top of the stairs, there was someone to help me sit down and tell my story. I, I cried and I told him what was going on and he was comforting and reassuring and said, we'll do whatever needs to be done. We want you to know that we are with you every step of this way. If you've ever seen Rini smile, you know how she helps out every situation. Rini gave me the name of Dr. Jacqueline Kerr. She said she's a friend of Ham, a friend of mine, and she also has had the same thing that you're going through. She was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. So I got in touch with her and she was so helpful. She told me what to expect about the treatments. She gave me a reading list of things to take my mind off of it. But the main thing that I can remember Dr. Jacqueline Kerr telling me was, please call me back anytime, but right now I have to go because I'm going to take a mandolin lesson. And I remember thinking, oh my God, she's been through all of this therapy and yet she is in a mental state that she can go learn something new. I want that to be me. So I knew that there was a direct pipeline between Ham and Ascension Seton that was going to be invaluable to me. I didn't know how well known I was even in the music community and to be so comforted as an individual and to be treated like of course you're a member of the music community uh, was huge to me. Being loved and being positive in the face of something that daunting were the only things that were going to get me through and Ham offered me both of those things. They saved my life.